Do you have a negative review on your Google business profile that's hurting your reputation and costing you leads? Don't panic. I'm going to show you exactly how to report and possibly remove those negative reviews using Google's latest feature. And heads up, if you've ever thought about paying someone to remove those reviews, don't. It's a huge red flag to Google that could backfire. So let's dive in. First off, I want to talk about the impact of negative, negative reviews on small businesses. Negative reviews can seriously hurt businesses and local contractors that rely heavily on Google business profiles to generate leads for their business. So whether you're a roofer, plumber, or local service provider, having a poor review show up at the top can affect a potential customer's decision to hire, hire you, potentially costing you thousands and thousands of dollars. So knowing how to handle negative reviews, both by removing fake ones and learning from the real ones is crucial for long-term success. So let's dive in on how to report a negative review on Google. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step walkthrough. In this section, I'm going to show you exactly how to go through the entire process of reporting a negative review that is illegitimate on Google. The process itself is pretty straightforward. So you're going to be logged in here. You can also go to business.google.com uh, and see your, your, you know, your Google business profile. Um, but right here, you can go to read reviews. And so as you're seeing these reviews right here, this is our auto glass company. Uh, you'll see that we actually had a recent uh, two star review right here um, from a, a legit you know, reason as to why they left the two star review. But if we wanted to, and it was illegitimate for whatever reason, we could go and we could report this review. And so here you can choose the specific reason why you're reporting it. Now, just to be clear, Google won't remove legitimate negative reviews. This process is only going to work for reviews that are fake, spammy, or violate Google's guidelines. And even if it does one of those things, there's no guarantee it'll get removed. But right now, this feature gives you the best chance you've ever had to clean your profile up. So you would then go and basically pick which of the reasons as to why you're reporting and wanting this reviewed and going in and doing it and then clicking send report. Now, with that specifically, right, you should never pay someone to remove negative reviews. There are shady people out there who will promise to review, move negative reviews for a fee. Don't fall for it. It is almost always a scam. Now, Google doesn't officially offer paid review, re review removal, and using those black hat strategies and tactics can harm your account in the long run or even get your profile suspended. So instead of trying to pay someone to get those removed, it, focus on the right way to handle negative reviews, which kind of leads into the next step where we talk about burying negative reviews by getting more positive ones. Negative reviews are inevitable. We have over 400 reviews for our auto glass company. We are not perfect. No business is perfect. It's going to happen at some point in your business if you stay around long enough and are actually good at what it is that you do. Negative reviews will happen, but what really matters is how you respond to them. So if the review is legit, take the opportunity to learn from it and respond professionally in a way in which you're meeting the person where they're at and trying to remedy the situation. The best strategy to reduce the impact of those negative reviews is to bury them with more positive ones. So again, we didn't let that two-star review derail us from going and getting more five-star reviews. The way in which you do that is encourage those happy customers to leave reviews, especially right after you complete a job. Make it super simple and easy by sending them this direct link right here, having them go and just leave you a review. Offer great service and over time, the occasional bad review won't matter nearly as much because it'll be buried under a sea of five-star feedback. And some of those negative reviews have also led to people hiring us because they're like, wow, we understand you're not perfect. And the way in which you handled that negative review says a lot about you. So if you found this video helpful and want more tips 
on how to grow your business using your Google business profile, here's exactly what you can do next. You can join our free Facebook group where you'll find a link in the video description where I share exclusive content and live trainings on how you can help dominate your business with local SEO and other digital marketing and personal branding strategies. But if you want a little bit more personalized help, some done for you services, you can fill out a contact form so we can get on a discovery call on my website at adammcchesney.com. I would love the opportunity to help you grow your business and generate more leads and turn your Google business profile into a lead generating machine.